Hello everyone, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to look into the market outlook. I somehow feel that the market has been a bit overvalued and it could see a small correction. When I say small correction, maybe 2 to 3%. If you are new to this channel, my name is Manoj and you are watching Trend Following. This is, this is the Nifty chart, daily chart. I was the first one maybe in the entire country on the day of exit polls. This is the exit poll day. I said that Nifty will break down below 22,000 for a brief period and then reverse back even if there is a small deviation in the exit polls. I will leave the link in the description. This is the video. You can go and check that out. Like I said, it broke down 22,000. On that day, on the day of election results, the low was 21,000. 884 you can see the close at the top open high low and close close was 21,884 how did I predict this there were many requests to me but this is based out of experience the more time you spend in the market the more you train your eyes in the market you will know you will try to realize what the market is trying to tell you so this comes by experience this is not a overnight exercise this is not a candlestick exercise so this is a chart reading based on the news Similarly, based on the budget news and everything, I feel market is going to correct. Market is going to correct to where, which point, it will generally correct to a round figure mark. In this case, the round figure mark is 24,000. So, it is about 300 points, there could be a correction. If 24,000 is broken, it is going to come to this area where the next liquidity is there. What is the probability of market coming to 24,000? There is a high chance, there is a 80% chance of market correction to 24,000. That is what the chart says. Look at this, this, this is a chart chart of sell-off. This is beers losing control. From the top started to go down. If, if you see this, this is a nifty chart. Yesterday, when the market started to open in green, it went up for a brief period and then it started to sell down. When selling like this happens, for example, if the first hour is not sustained, most likely market will sell off and it will sell off for the next two to three days. When the sell-off is triggered, you have the liquidity sitting at the next round figure mark, which is 24,000. If that is broken, it is going to come to this area and that is 600 points from here. How much is 600 points? It is 2.5% which is close to our expectation of 2 to 3% fall. So that is a slight correction in the overall bull market. So this whole liquidity will end up being sold for a brief period. So market is definitely going to be sell off. If today market opens somewhere here and if breaks down below 24,300, there will be a definite sell off. If the first hour sustains and it's tried to go up, then tomorrow's candle will take the precedence. Tomorrow's candle is more important. If tomorrow's candles continue to rally, it is going to go up. If tomorrow's candle is weak, like something like this candle, this candle, it opens high and then it starts to fall off, then that is a definite phase of market going into correction. The reason for me to do this video is if you are investing into mutual funds, maybe you should wait a bit more because you will get better price. But if you are a stock specific investor, Stock specific investor will always do good. There will be pockets of value. There will be some stocks that will always go up. Take Nifty for example. Nifty yesterday opened here, started to go down after the first 30 minutes. In here, I was around 2.3 lakhs in profits, intraday profits. During the day, as and when the Nifty started to go down, my profits went up. From 2.3 lakhs, I think it closed, I don't remember the exact value, one minute. It closed at 4.8 lakhs in profit. So it gained two lakhs more. So there will be always some stocks that will be going up irrespective of what happens to the index because index is only consist of the big heavyweights. If the big heavyweights moves, index generally loses, but there will be smaller companies, very good well-run well -run companies, which take the trend because of some news, some policies, some demand, some other countries is bringing in some law, demand and supply gaps. So because of these reasons, there will be some companies that will be always be trending up. So if you are stock specific, you don't have to worry. If you are investing in mutual funds, there is going to be a definite pullback. Be mindful of that. Now looking at the open interest, if you are trading options, the open interest is around 24,500 to 24,000. 24,500 at the upside to 24,000. So this is where the market is going to end. That is what the data says, but I don't believe all these things. Market is going to definitely pull back. It is right now here. That's where this line is there. It will pull back here. If this breaks, it will further fall 1 to 1.5%. 1 so that is how it is being right now set up. Be thoughtful of all this. Take your own decisions based on the information given in this video. That's it for this video. I'll meet you again in another video. Thanks. Bye-bye and take care.